doing things one-handed. Bing! Hmm. Oh. Hey. <laughs> hey, everybody. It's Ryan from livingonehanded.com. I have with me today Kyle Maynard. <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> right, not really. Exactly. Yeah, no. <laughs> so um, Kyle's graciously uh, said that he'll answer a couple questions for us. So um, without further ado, first question is, what drove you to climb Mount Kilimanjaro? Oof. Sheer stupidity. <laughs> nice. Um, no, it was a big part of it was just, um, I mean, twofold. One, it's just that feeling of because it's there, mm -hmm. because I wanted to go and do it. I wanted to have that experience for myself. And also, too, we had a vision to share a message to the veteran community. So I had two veterans that joined me on the climb. Mm -hmm. I wanted to go and bring awareness to the fact that regardless, even if you go through an injury, uh, then life's not over. You know, you, you can continue on. Yeah. Cool. That's awesome. Um, another thing, uh, there are a lot of parents and grandparents, uh, livingonehand.com, have a lot of questions about uh, raising kids with limb differences. And so, what would be your advice to, ha to them as far as raising their kids that have these differences? No, I, I think that the biggest thing is just to not treat anyone as different. You know, what we were talking about earlier is that, you know, both of our you know, parents kind of treated us as just normal in the way that, you know, now consequently we see ourselves that way. To not focus on just what we don't have, but to focus on what is good, what is right. You know, and, and that's it. That was just they just treated me as whole and taught me to be able to interact with other people the same way. Awesome, that's cool. Um, you mentioned tonight in your talk about your parents having a rule when kids would ask you about your arm. Could you tell us about that rule and then maybe one of your favorite stories of that? Yeah, it was uh, my rule is that you know, like kids would come up and ask questions about what happened to your arms and legs over and over and over again. And like if they, they, they had, if after they'd ask like five or six times, and at that point I could go and tell them whatever I wanted to. Nice. And so the story quickly became, you know, shark attack, tiger attack, anything that's ordered with that. And it's just, you know, sometimes you got to be able to go and like laugh and have a good time with it. Because that's, uh, you know, I mean, that's, that's probably the best cure for just about anything in life. It's just humor. Yeah, awesome. Well, hey, thanks for taking absolutely. a couple minutes with us tonight. Thank you. Yeah, absolutely. So I hate to do this right now, but hey, everybody, you know how the line is. Keep it one-handed. See ya. <laughs> Doing things no-handed. Bing.